Welcome back to Farming Simulator 2019 with the Rude Man. We're back on Saxony. And a couple days have went by since I'd made the last episode. Uh, I haven't checked on the production yet, but I'm pretty sure we've probably got quite a bit of stuff over there. And maybe not quite a bit, but we've got some going over there. So let me check on the animals and see any progress. Yeah, they've pooed a lot. This, Like I said, this is a couple of farm days later. And so the poo is starting to pile again. And now, this is supposed to have been cleaned up. This the, the new mod is supposed to clean the animals. It says clean animal pens. And it says it's on. But it doesn't seem to be working. So I don't know what that's about. I don't know what that's about. Uh, as far as the animals go, uh, I'm assuming that they're being fed. Chickens seem to have plenty of food. The cows are all fed. Every everybody's getting fed, but uh, but they're making a mess. So I don't know what's the I don't know what's going on with that. Uh, I should go and see if there's been an update in that mod. Maybe there's a problem. I don't know. But anyway, that's uh, that's neither here nor there. We're going to start doing some harvesting today. And I'll show you what we've got going. Now, all of our fields are ready. This one is canola. Uh, we'll get that started. These two over here are both cotton. Now, this is going to be sold directly from the field. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to make a little bit of money here. And then I'll determine what else is going to be sold or not sold. But we need to get some equipment going. Let's get um, let's get the grass guy going. There's no point not to. I didn't wash the equipment between now and the last episode. What I did do, though, is I went through and got everything repaired. So everything's been repaired that I know of. I might have missed a piece of equipment that wasn't attached to a tractor, but I couldn't swear to it. As far as I know, everything is, is uh, in tip-top order. One thing that was kind of weird was part of the um, cedar, the front part that looks like a cultivator on the cedar, was at zero repair. It was completely broken. Um, and I seeded with it. It didn't seem to, you know, hurt it any, but I don't know what that's supposed to affect. All right, so we're going to get the canola going here. I'm going to start a course. This is field number one. We should have a harvest course going. 36 meters, uh, that's the one we're looking for. And let's get it started. No windrow to deal with. That's good. All right, we'll let him go. And then we need to get a, tr a truck out there. This one is ready to go. And again, let's see what we've got as far as the course goes. This is field number two. I don't know the size of this course. I'm just going to try it and see. Uh-oh, two combined courses. Let's try that again. All right, where anybody see the marker? Where's the marker? Oh, 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 oh. Uh, this field, for some reason, I started clear on this other end. Silliest thing I've ever done, but oh well. It's done now. I don't think this is the right course width wise but because it's shorter than the header I think it will work so we're gonna try it I'm gonna try it and see if it works okay all right that's wheat let's stop it and get the windrow going. Start it again. All 
Alright, this should be going faster than that. Let me see. Nope. It won't do it. Alright. I think I remember why. I think I remember not modding that to go any faster because I felt that the width of the thing was bad enough. I didn't need it to go faster too. Let's get our trucks going while I'm thinking about it. And then I don't have cotton equipment so I'm going to have to buy it. Now, if you remember in the last episode, I made a comment that I bought the John Deere equipment package, but I was not going to use it. And I'll tell you why. Um, I used it on a test world, on a test map, and I didn't like it. Uh, the mod is pretty good as far as it goes. The detail's good. It's a John Deere uh, cotton harvester. Now, the problem is two things. And the first one's not a big problem. It, just, it is what it is. Uh, the first thing is it makes round bales. Now... There's nothing really wrong with that. Uh, it is what it is. But I'll tell you what the problem is. If we look at the cotton technology, this is it right here. Okay, so that's it right there. Now, what happens is this thing's got a bin on it that sucks all the cotton up. While it's in that bin, it starts round. It starts uh, putting it into a round bale form. So there's two things running with it. If you if you if you look at here, let's look at this. Let me get out of here. I was trying to explain this. Okay, if you look at the cedar, let's say, let's find the cedar. Okay, that was the cedar right there. Let's go back to that. Okay, if we look at the cedar here, you'll see down in the right-hand corner here, you've got two bars. Right, so in this case, it's fertilizer and it's uh, rye. Now, on the harvester, there are two bars. One of them shows the amount of cotton that's being picked. And when it reaches the end here, it pops down here and starts making a bale. While it's making the bale, this is filling up again. When it gets full again, it makes a little bit more bale. When it gets clear to the end here, it poops the bale out. Then it starts making another one. Now the problem is, the bale doesn't leave the harvester. It sets um, the, the harvester opens up, it poops a bale out on a little pedestal. In the meantime, the picker's still picking, and it's making another bale. Before that other bale is done, just before, it will then expel the first bale out onto the ground, and it'll make the second bale, and the second bale will pop out onto that platform. Now, to that point, everything's great, except for, at that point, the harvester will stop. And what you have to then do is go to the harvester and physically pop that bale off and restart the harvester. So after two bales, you're continually, it's continually stopping. So you have to... Uh, you have to babysit that damn thing through the whole process of the field. And if it's a big field, you're constantly out there babysitting that harvester because it will stop after the second bale's formed every time. And not only does it stop, it goes about 10 yards before it stops. So then you got to poop the bale out, you got to back the harvester up, and start it over again. It's a pain in the butt, so I'm not going to use it. Now, uh, since I'm not going to use it, I'm, that means I'm not going to use the rest of it either, because the new stuff in the cotton technology is uh, for round bales. So all of this stuff here is made for round bales. All of this is.
including this thing here that picks it up. So I can't use it if I'm using the square bales. So the thing of it is, is I'm just going to, at this point, use what I had before. I'm going to use this one right here and um, right I don't think there's any more right we're just gonna do this I, I'm not gonna buy this actually I'm gonna lease it and I'm gonna lease two of them because I've got two cotton fields yeah I was sorely disappointed in that I just I just spent money on that silly um, that silly uh, DLC and here we go again I I paid for a DLC I can't use it's just uh, not, it's not usable for me it's just because I can't just sit there and babysit that one piece of equipment right so let's see here we're gonna do field number one grain to farm drive the course and hopefully it'll take over in the meantime, let's run and get our harvesters. Uh, it, it would be perfectly fine if I wanted to run the piece of equipment by myself and do nothing else. So I'd pretty much be manually running that piece of equipment. Just driving it like I'm do driving right now. If that's the way I played, I would be perfectly happy to use that. But that's not the way I play. So, it just doesn't work for me. This one here, you can start this thing, and yes, it's slow. Yes, it's got a very uh, narrow cutter on it. But it constantly works. When the uh, bale gets full, it pops it out the back and keeps working until it pops another one and another one and another one. So, the only thing I have to do is pick it all up and sell it unfortunately you can only pick two bales up at a time oh who needs to unloaded guess who it's the combine it's the only thing I got running it's got to be the two combines. I got to get another truck out there to field number two. All right, let me open this thing up. Get it ready to harvest. This is a nice harvester. There's nothing wrong with this. I think people are just self absorbed about John Deere's. Oh my god, it's a John Deere. Oh my god, it's a John Deere. Not everybody uses John Deere's. Alright, this guy's going to work. And it'll keep working until this field is done. I don't have to do anything except pick the bales up. So, let's get this guy. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get this out to the field because I've got other things to do. So we're going to put this on field number 11. Let's get it open up. All right, hire a worker. Let's go find our... Oh, trouble already. What? Oh shoot. Lane offset, turn on field, pathfinding, let's turn that off. All right, and then I need to get my truck. There it is. Let's stop him, causing trouble already.
Alright, we're gonna let it go. I don't wanna chase it down. Let's get another truck out there. This one goes out to field number two. This is dedicated to the one I love. <laughs> I think this actual song is, this is dedicated to one you love. Oh, shoot. Ooh. I forgot that that crossbar is really slow at coming up. I plow into it almost every time. All right, let's see if I got a course here. I think I do, but couldn't prove it in a court of law. I don't. I don't have a course for this field. All right, fine. We'll pick it up manually. Put your pipe out, though. Come on, pipe out. Pipe out. Pipe out. All right, now this one also looks like it's got um, this isn't it. This one, right? Let's let's do take that off. He's still following. Now this harvest, I'm I'm not gonna do. I'm not gonna show you the whole harvest. I think I'm just gonna we're gonna enjoy the uh, the episode here, and when it's over, I'm going to then work offline to finish the harvest. Uh, basically, the cotton's going to be sold. Like I said, the cotton's going to be sold for money. I'm trying to build up enough money to buy that big field, or at least a big field. Uh, so you don't need to see me, you know, pick every piece of cotton and harvest every piece of grain. So we're just going to enjoy the episode as it is. And when it's over, I'll finish all the work. And um, I may actually also... Oh, what am I doing? Going in the other side. I may actually also, if I, if I finish the harvest, uh, I may actually go ahead and prepare all the fields and get them reseeded before the next episode. All right, what else needs to be done? I need to get a trailer. Let's see. Um, I did buy that other truck, this one right here. This is the Chevy truck. Now, I didn't show you, but there's different beds on it. The original truck, when you get it, uh, has no bed on it at all. It's just bare frame, and you choose the bed that you want. This is the first choice, and this is the one I got. The second choice has racks on it. I don't know why you'd want that one, but uh, there you go. But this is the trailer. Now, um, you remember I bought the small trailer. This will only hold two bales. I'm going to extend this and see if it will hold more than two bales. Hopefully it will. Even if it only holds one more, that's better than nothing. Right? All right, let's see if we can re redo this. Okay, we want to customize it and pop it out to 35 
Yeah, 35 feet. And let's do that. Whoa! Uh-oh, trouble. What did it do? Oh, look at that! How do you get it to come back down? Uh-oh. That's funny right there. Look, we're a stunt driver. Alright, let me see if I can pick it up. With my super strength and fix it. Where'd it go? Alright, it dropped back down. Alright, cool. Now, let's see what kind of bales we can pick up with this. If I can get more than... Does it look any longer? I guess it does. I guess it does. I don't know. I guess it does. I thought it would be really long. It isn't necessarily really long, but it is longer, I think. Now, this rig right here, you have to be careful of. It um, it jackknifes real easy, and when it does, it, it will make that pickup do that two-wheel stunt thing, if you're not careful. All right, so I need to set it up for this kind of a bale. So let's do that. Liquid mission pallets, square bales, round bales, cotton module. That's it right there. And then if we hit the auto load, we're still only going to get two. Doggone it. It didn't do me any good. So far, we're only going to get one. Yeah, we're only going to get two. I was hoping we'd get another one. Did us absolutely no good. Yeah, can't pick up another one. All right, two of two. Says so in the, right, in the bottom right corner. So that's all we're going to get is two. But I am going to sell it. I'm going to sell this directly from the field. And this is how we're going to make some money. I may sell other crap. Uh, craps. <laughs> I may sell other crap as well. I'm going to sell other crops as well. And it looks like one of my trucks is having trouble. So. Alright, we're just going to pop it up here. We're going to hit U to turn off the auto thing and Y to sell it. And there it goes. And we made almost 200000 on two bales. So we're going to make a ton of money on this cotton. As long as the price stays. In the meantime, let's go find out what's prob what the problem is with the combines. It isn't the combines we're having trouble with, is it? Okay, let's stop this fella. Start him up. Put the pipe out, turn this off, turn that off, and where's our truck? Oh, that's our problem right there. Lower down. Look out, zombies. wonder what these zombies are doing anyway. They just kind of walk around. They don't go to the coffee shop. Um, I don't see them doing any work. They don't eat. They don't drink. 
They don't work. They don't go home. You know, I never thought about that. I haven't actually been out there at Old Dark Hundred to see if they're still walking. I wonder if they actually have homes to go to at night. That'd be interesting, wouldn't it? Right, so this guy's done. We got a little bit of wheat. Not much, a little bit. Sometimes I wish this uh, great or this uh, thing right here wasn't there. What do they call those? This gate? I wish it wasn't there. It's a pain in the butt because it's so slow. And it doesn't see the truck until you're actually on it. And then it'll lift up. So you have to almost come to a stop. All right, so next field, let's see, we've got cotton, cotton. Uh, the next field's going to be rye, I think. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. We've got poppies to do. And I can't remember whether poppies is a grain header or not. Let's get the combine over here and find out. I think it's, I think it's a corn header, but I can't remember. Okay, let's get this guy off the field. He dirty. I need to wash this equipment. I didn't do that. I should have. Oh, he's working okay. That's good. This guy, though... We're going to take this over to the poppies. We'll find out if this header works with poppies. I could check. Not here. In here. Let's go to headers. And let's see. Okay, that corn header does not do poppies. So it must be a regular header that does poppies. Yes, it is. Great. So, yeah, the regular header does poppies. Let's see if we can get through here without getting hung up on a sign. Oh, jeez. Ah. Hey, we made it. Sweet. All right, we're headed for field number eight. So, I think I've got a course set up for field number eight. Harvest right there. Let's go for it. Poppies supposedly are another good cash crop, or so I've heard. I've not tested that theory, but I've been told that one of the better uh, cash crops is poppies. Yeah, this is not a good... Uh, that's not right, because that's... What is that? This is supposed to be harvest? This can't be right. Odd. Alright, I'm not going to do it this way. Let's get rid of that. That's I don't know what that was. But that, uh, whatever that was, it was a very narrow header. Let's do it from this direction. 
Alright, so we're going to do one of these eight, and then I'm going to have to do this. It won't do that. It won't automatically set that. It will the corn header. The corn header, it automatically, you hit it, and it automatically got to 36 meters. But this header won't. You have to click it one at a time, and it's just, it, it, it just wears your finger out. I've I've held it and it doesn't do anything. Of course, now I haven't gotten a new um, course play for a long time. I should check into it. And you know, the course play doesn't adjust its uh, thing just for one mod. So it's probably the mod that is has the problem because the corn header works fine. All right, we're getting close. I still haven't lost my finger yet. It's getting numb though. All right, there we go. Now we're gonna do uh, one headland. We're gonna do clockwise, right. Clockwise. Let's do clockwise. And there it is. And let's save it because I don't want to do that again. Alright, 36 meters. Go for it. And we're off like a herd of turtles. Let's get this guy going, picking up grass. I hope it works okay. Something's not right. Oh, it's on transport. That can't be right. Let's see if this works. I wonder what changed it, because I didn't change it. I wonder if it changed it when you repair things. If it changes your settings. What's he doing? Oh, he <laughs> I know what he's doing. He's waiting to do poppers. Give me all your puppies. Hopefully we've got one for field eight. Because that's a big field. Oh, cult Why do we have two cultivates? We have a harvest, but we don't have a, a, a picker-upper. Great. All right, well, I guess we have to make one. There's the Phantom Jet. It's just a shadow and only the shadow knows. We get field number four. That thing's huge. It's not as big as 54, but it is pretty good size. Yeah, the field that's just below all my fields right here is huge. 
And it's kind of shaped weird though too. It's not square. Shaped like it's shaped like the squared off uh, state of Texas. All right, then let's stop that and we're going to save it. Field 08 grain to whoops to farm and drive the course and moving on. You know, it's going to be an awful lot of work for me to uh, get all that that cotton an awful lot of work okay what's happening here why is this guy oh is he done oh he's done all right cool let's stop him and uh, get rid of that and pull this in Start the engine. In the meantime, though, let's get this truck and tell it to drive now. Go. Drive. Where's my combine? There he is. Well, so far, Harvest is going pretty smooth. Uh, I was uh, talking earlier, and I don't remember if I finished my thought, but I was saying this is going to be a lot of work for me. What I meant was picking up all those bales two at a time. Uh, the good thing is they're big bales, so there's not as many as the round bales. The round bales aren't as big as that. And there's a lot to pick. Oh, geez, oh, geez. Oh, I didn't see that train coming. That was close. Right, now this did canola, so I'm going to turn on the, uh, the windrow on it. And then, again, I don't know if I've got a course for this or not. This is field, what, 10? Field number 10. And there is no harvest. Field number 4, let's put that away. The reason it says field number 4, and you uh, you guys know uh, if, you're paying, if you're paying attention, Field 4 is the one I want to buy. And um, it's this great big one right here. And so you're probably wondering, why do I have a course play route for field number 4? Well, it's because I have two uh, 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 Saxony games going. I got one that I play for fun. And I don't record. And then I've got this one. And in the one that I'm playing for fun, I own field number 4. So... Um, the course play doesn't distinguish between the two uh, Saxonies. So if I make a course for this one, it makes a course for that one. So there you go. All right, I'm just going to hire a worker. I don't know how well it's going to work, but we'll give it our best shot. Now this is rye. Uh, it's called Rogan, but it's rye. And we're going to be making malt out of it. So, what happened here? Oh, is that truck stuck in a circle? Uh, 
All right, hopefully it won't get stuck again. But yes, yes, yes. I'm not looking forward to all the work it's going to take to pick up all that cotton. And I almost thought about putting a cell point between these two fields so I didn't have to drive all the way back onto the farm. I seriously did think about that. Whoa, 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 I forgot. Oh, geez, see, I told you. You gotta be careful. There it went. You just can't go too fast with this thing. So you can't drive the rude man way. You have to drive the sane person's way. And the good news is with this, uh, I don't know if it's because the cotton bales are like super heavy, but you don't have to put the uh, straps on it. They ain't going nowhere. Jeez, did a cloud just go over? Did you see how dark it just got? And then it brightened right back up again. Must have had a cloud. Under 95,000. That's almost, look, we've already got a million dollars. I'm gonna be able to buy that field number four and maybe another big field. Uh-oh, our truck's lost over there. Slow down on the corners. You're gonna get locked up. Oh, jeez. Okay, so hit secret. If you're gonna slam the brakes on, don't turn the wheel at the same time. Just slow it down and then make your turn. I'm so used to driving the rude man way. It's terrible. Right, let's go check on everybody. Now see, these things go at a pretty good clip. They're going 18 miles an hour. Um, it says they'll go faster, but it won't let me. It's supposed to go 24 miles an hour. But you know, that's pretty quick. That's a good clip right there. And the fact that they don't stop every second bail is kind of nice. They just keep working, keep on waking. Uh, what's happened here? Did he just get stuck? I don't know. Oh, shoot. Now we got Windrow out on the field. I hate that. Hate when that happens. Might as well finish this up manually. All right, so you can see what's going on on the farm. I've got uh, the two cotton fields that are still being worked, and then I have these uh, few fields right here to do. And the the outside of the poppy field, these are all rye. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to end the episode here. I hope you had fun. If you did, give it a like, share it with a friend, subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you back in the farm in the next episode. But in the meantime, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep working. I'm going to get all this crop done. When I come back, we'll take a look at how much money I've made in the upper right-hand corner. Right now, it's 1277000 And I haven't even got halfway through those two uh, cotton fields as far as picking up cotton. So we should make a pretty penny. And we haven't sold the, mo the uh, poppies yet either. But I'm going to finish the harvest. And I'm thinking about going ahead and preparing the fields and getting them ready for the next harvest. And the first thing we're going to do in the next episode, though, is uh, we're going to go take a look at that production and see if we've got fuel and fertilizer and all that other stuff from the previous episode that we prepared. Uh, so we got that to look forward to. In the meantime, uh, have fun, and I'll see you then.